Hi, I'm Danielle Campbell and I'm here at Busby Ranch Quarter Horses in Millsap, Texas. This is my demo horse, Repeat. She's done this a time or two, so should go smoothly. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about warming up and warming up at home before I work a colt or an open horse and also warming up for a barrel race or at a rodeo. And the first thing I wanna say is when I warm a horse up, I'm not doing it to physically fatigue them or wear them out. I actually prefer a very fresh, sharp horse. I don't ever want to wear them out in the warm up process. If I'm training at home, I mean, I need them to have all the energy they can have to work properly around a barrel. A fatigued horse is not gonna do that. Uh, if I'm at a barrel race, again, I don't, I don't want them wore out physically. I want their muscles and their body loosened up, and I also want their mind to be paying attention to me. So a lot of my warm up is a lot of bending, a lot of flexing, and just making sure that my horse throughout her body, his body feels exactly like I want. So the first thing I'm gonna do when I warm up, and a warm up time for me is gonna be 15 minutes. And a lot of times when I go places and I'm hauling, you know, six colts to exhibition or time only. I don't have any more time on those three-year-olds to warm up. I got to get off one and jump on the other. So I'm going to make sure when I'm home that right when I step on that I train my horse to be ready to work for me instantly. Again, I'm not going to go lope 30, you know, for circles for 30 minutes, not asking them to actually respond to me because I want them to be in work mode the minute that I step on them. Pay attention to me, you know, you don't get loped forever and then you pay attention to me. You pay attention to me right now. That way, if you're like me, you're gonna be running late to the barrel race sometime and your horse is gonna need to perform with minimal warm up, and that way you're always ready for situations like that. So it's kind of a learned thing for a horse. Like you have to actually train them at home to not need a lot of warm up in order to work for you. Uh, safety first, like I said, the biggest thing is just for them to be loose in their body, have their muscles warmed up so they don't injure themselves while running. And I figure, I feel a horse can easily do that with 10 minutes of, of riding and warming up. So first thing I do anytime I get on a horse, whether I'm at home or at a barrel race, is I'm just gonna get on them and I'm gonna walk them around, get them soft in the face, turn them around a few times, move them off my legs, and just make sure that I kind of have that softness of everything I ask them to do. It's light, it's easy. Again, for me, it's all about this horse being in tune to me. So, and again, I'm stretching them, just like doing a little bit of yoga beforehand. By doing this, you know, I'm having her stretch out that rib cage, open up those shoulders. Again, which for me makes them less likely to injure themselves. So once I kind of make sure they're paying attention to me a couple minutes in, I'm going to go ahead and just, I do a lot of long trotting at home, at the rodeos, whatever I'm doing, I really believe in long trotting. So I'm just going to long trot them for a while of leaving their face alone. You can see I don't ride around keeping a hold of their face all the time. I don't want them bridled up all the time. I mean, I'll give them a loose rein. And then if I want to get her soft, I'll get her soft and hold her for a minute. And then I'm going to let her right back go. I might counter arc her some this way. Again, now just doing all of her loosening up exercises at a trot also. Once I get her trotting good, I might lope a couple circles on her. Again, I might hold her nose tipped in some, but I'm not gonna just bridle her up and keep a big solid hold on her the whole time. When I ask her to do something, I'll pick up my reins and ask it, but I'm not gonna make her, like I'm not gonna lope around like bridled up the whole time. Like I want her to move freely and loose with her front end. She's a little on the go. She is 12. She's been to a few rodeos, so she has a really good mind, but she definitely, she sees barrels and she's away from home. So she's pretty sure there's gonna be a run in her near future. 
I'll pick her nose up, ask her to tighten this circle up a little bit. I'm gonna use my inside leg and I'm gonna push her back out into a bigger circle. Whoa. Stop her. Ask her to back up a couple steps. And at this point, I'm just gonna let her relax for a second. She's kind of like which, wondering where she's gonna go next. So I'm just gonna let her chill. Ask her to bend around nice and easy. For me, the warm up is very relaxing. Like I'm trying to get my horse prepared to run good. And they're no different than us. The more relaxed their brain, the, the better they can think. So the more relaxed their body, the better they can move. If you're tense and nervous, your whole body tightens up. A horse is the same way. So I like a, a horse to relax and be calm, quiet. And that's why I don't pick on them a whole lot because I don't want their bodies tight. My whole deal is flexibility in the turn. That's my entire theory of barrel racing is how to keep one soft and flexible through the turn. So I have to keep them soft and flexible while I'm warming up. So anytime that they get a little nervous or hot, I just relax, walk them around. I do, then that's another thing. A lot of the bending and flexing I do at home that seems so boring, they kind of do tend to get bored with it. So when I go somewhere and they get nervous, whoa, whoa. When I go somewhere and they get nervous, I can just kind of go right back to the bending and flexing and they're like, oh, this again. And then they calm right down. You know, it's their, it's kind of their relaxation deal of knowing that when I do that, they can chill and I'm going to do it until they're bored. So well, again, warming up for me is about getting their, their body physically ready to do what I'm going to do and their mind paying attention to me. And generally that's by keeping them calm, quiet, and soft. I want a horse, I mean, they're race horses and they're gonna get excited, but I want a horse to be calm before they go in the gate. I want them to be calm going down the alley. Like I wanna know at any given point that, you know, I can pick them up, bend them, and flex them, that they're not gonna be so nervous and tight that they can't do these things. So that's what warming up is for me, um, pretty basic at home and we'll get into some drills a little bit later. I have some drills set up that I'll warm them up on, but this is basically what I do and that's about how long it takes. Like I said, I don't spend a whole lot of time doing it and relaxation is key. So, and uh, having them willing to and wanting to work. And again, I feel like the more they're fatigued, the lazier they get when you're actually trying to work the barrels. And I don't want them being lazy. I don't want them being too tired to know how to be snappy. So I don't spend a lot of time in my warm up. And that's how warming up goes for me.